All right, everybody, welcome back to a new place, NBA 2K18. And we're going to go right in and get a game going. Uh, we got the Milwaukee Bucks next on the slate. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can improve ourselves. I just got done some training, and I'm still only at 61. I'm hoping with my training I'll be able to get through it all. Look to take charge at BMO Harris Bradley Center. And we're bringing it to you live. All right, we're from coming to you live from the Bradley Sports. Center. This is Kevin Harlan, the uh, side, the Celtics are taking on the Milwaukee Anthony Bucks on their the home court. Uh, we Baylor lost the first game to over. Milwaukee. We're trying to even Looking up the series here today. Let's go. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the load up. Well, guys, DJ has had to make his own path to the NBA. He went undrafted, but he was able to get a contract after some tryouts and training camp. And he didn't commit to pursuing basketball until later in his development. Kevin? And sometimes Averaging a whole three points a game. I got to get my rebounds up, that's for sure. So like let's get into the game, fellas. Let's go. And both Kyrie. these teams can go deep into their benches. Chris, what's it like Here we to go. play on a stacked team? A team that has uh, a huge number of players that can... Not getting a whole lot of playing minutes, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to make the it's most of them when I'm in and I disappoint myself when I don't. Bucks trail by five. Now, here's Ande de Kumbo. He had 22 points in the win against Charlotte. Pass to Brogdon. Oh, on the play, basket count. So it'll be a three-point play <clears throat> chance. What a play well, there. we're up by three. The harm. It's early in the Malcolm Brogdon, a second round pick first the quarter, or towards the end of the first, the first quarter at least. Greg, he has been, and you love that he can fill in at either guard spot. And you get the feeling. Brogdon was overlooked for being a four-year player in college. H has the passing and vision of a point guard. Scores well enough from inside there we go. and out to play off the ball as well. well I like how DJ will give and go to the open teammate, whipping the ball over beautifully and quickly. For Milwaukee, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Henson with the screen. Oh, come on, man. I was covering your man. Here's Rozier. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. 24 seconds left to play here in the first. Just five to shoot. Do something, man. Here's Yabu Sele. Milwaukee with a rebound. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. I got to work on my movement, you know, getting in the position. Really never got any resistance up. from the deep. And I feel like the defense was one step behind all night. I mean, they never made the adjustments to string together a few stops. Oh, I was driving, man. I didn't realize we're out of time. All right, nothing for me in that first quarter. Let's go to the next quarter. Hopefully, I'll get in some more playing time. It's a close game, though. I may not see a lot. I'm in right now. The five minutes left in the uh, second. Or this must be the beginning of the quarter. Credit their unselfish play. Oh, always a good strategy. Get as many people involved as you can early on. All fueled up and ready to go. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Thought I had position on him. What's going on? I'm under. Bad shot selection. Inside shot, man. What do you want me to do? NBA championships, their last in 2008. Yeah, and with the talent and assets they possess. Uh, no, get out of here. For Manor, number 18. Come on, I don't get no credit for that. One of the beasts of the East, without question. Oh, come on, man. I didn't tell you to throw it there. Over in the corner, all right, it's all my fault. No good from outside. They have Another rebound I didn't get. Come on, you're seven foot tall. Get a rebound, damn it. Excessive pass for calls. And not sure what he was thinking there. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. 
Kevin, Celtics coach Brad Stevens is known for getting the best out of his players. He said, Oh my God, I'm wide open, dude. All right, strength. you made it. Some of them have 10 of them. And those guys are the very best in the league, right? But every one of them is here for a reason. And there are times where you can really soar with that skill. Kevin? And that's why Steve <sighs> I'm probably just sitting down. Talked about him for a long time. Gotta get in the, the, the game, man. I gotta get in the game. Timeout called the Bucks. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Monroe's checked in for Giants. All right, I'm gonna get in again. It looks like, hopefully. It's halftime. Thanks, Kevin. Jason Lee. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third. All right, we're down by four at half. Zero points, one rebound, one assist. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. We're seeing a tremendous game. Some of the Bucks making a change here. Snell's All right, fourth quarter, a minute so left. Boston, with Boston and, uh, <laughs> we got up by 21. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. DJ comes in for Morris. Ojale is checked in for Tatum. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Irving. On the court like now for the Celtics. Rozier is out there with Brown. Then it's DJ, then it's Aaron Baines, and it's Ojale in the three. First one falls for him. And one of the things I love about Chris Middleton is his decision making. You know, he doesn't force shots or passes when he has the ball and just lets the play develop. And that's why coaches trust him so much. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks, John Ensign's checked in for Monroe. Mirza Toledovic comes in for Parker. Rashad Vaughn, he's checked in for Tony Snell. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Brockton. Just three to shoot. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Celtics. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And ever win important, and this one will go down as win number three. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far. They've won two straight. And you know, Ooh, a chance to score. Contributions tonight. It was a really phenomenal all uh, game for come on. Irving. Oh, he was a scary man at the defensive end with all those blocks. Even the shots he didn't get in, uh, he affected. He forced a lot of misses out there tonight. And with Middleton and his decision making, it's true for both his scoring and his passing. For the amount he facilitates, he has great efficiency. All right, got a point. Solid field goal percentage. And his passing gets better every year. And the Bucks making a change here. Terry's checked in. Henson with the screen. Peyton kicks to Vaughn. Terry, 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 Terry. There's the dish to Toledovich. The Bucks working the ball around. Clock at four. Off the screen. And it's DJ with the rebound. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up. Like to see your rebound. But yes. He just fails to capitalize. <laughs> the best laid plans, right? Well, I tell you right there, though, that's one they'll take every time. He's going to hold it, right? <clears throat> okay, that's the end of the game. Here's Rogier. Let it go. And so it's Boston easily. All right. This one. This crowd was stunned by the Didn't get a whole lot of points there again. Yeah, you know what? Shock. Two rebounds, made one of uh, two free throws. Yeah, I'm not exactly uh, building myself up there. Getting close to being a 62. All right. Let's see what we got here. 1.1 1 .1 assist, 2 rebounds. And what do we got? Yo, I kind of feel like Bill Murray in that one movie. What's it called again? Caddyshack? Um, nah, nah, that's not it. Rushmore. Nah, that's not it, Coach. It's Ghostbusters. Y'all not letting me explain, man. It's that movie where he lives the same day over and over again, 
and it kind of feels like this road trip. Like every day is the same. I just like can't go. Ghostbusters. Oh, Would Groundhog's you? Day. Yes. Well, why didn't you just say that? Man, I was trying to think. Groundhog you were talking Day. about Rushmore and Ghostbusters. Who is Bill Murray? The dude from Space Jam. Which was a good movie, by the way. No, that was Billy Crystal. No, that's uh, Deuce Bigelow. Deuce Bigelow. Oh, we got something from Brian. Let's see what he's got. Adidas is ready to give you some more kicks. Cool, let me see. Take a look at the attachment. View shoes. Alright, I don't know what's good here, guys. What do you think? Let's do the high tops. All right, they'll be in the pregame locker. All right, I think I'm gonna go and uh, get back into another game. Before we do that, let's take a look at social media. Nice, we got DJ and the Celtics up on the schedule next. Easy win for us, baby. That's from Jordan Mickey. DJ, what a win tonight. Love the way the team just seemed to click in every part of the game. Let's keep this momentum going. My boy Brandon, a.k.a. Little Jug, claims he's friends now with the Celtics new rookie DJ. I don't buy it. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into another game. Going up against the Miami Heat. A squirt away? Uh, Charlie. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I got him right here. You know, I want new hashtags. I am not feeling those. Anything else? Oh, uh, rookie. DJ, a word. What's going on? You excited for the game? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. What's up? So I have a semi-weird question for you. How many cell phones do you have? How many do I need? Well, it kind of depends. Shammy, how many burners you got? What you talking about? Shammy's got three phones. Three, you know about. Hey, after all these celebs been getting hacked, kind of shook me. Now I like to compartmentalize. Got the business phone. Agent, team, coach. They're trying to talk on us to get another phone? Very kind. And I got my bat phone. <clears throat> which is, you know, my bat phone. Okay, so DJ, you're on social media a lot, which is great, but now you don't just represent yourself, you represent the team. Uh, you should consider getting a second phone for your agent, manager, official team, social media. Get that bat phone. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll think about it, but I got a game to focus on, okay? Right, right. We'll you think about it. it. At least on that part. Bro, two phone bills? Like, you act like you can't afford it. What, you think I'm Shaq? It's game time here in my... And before the action gets going here... Well, Kevin... Thanks so much, David. Just getting our feet right, wet here in the early season. But Doris, the, Miami Heat. the talented teams that aren't coming together yet, how long do you think before they have to make some adjustments? Well, I certainly don't think you take time. any observation you've made in the first 20 of the games of the season and run with it. Such a short span of time to evaluate. Let's again. go. Oh, we're down by six. Here's Waiters. Last game we saw him score 13. He dishes it to Olenek. Looking for Waiters and gets it there. Count it. Waiters got seven points in the game. All right, let's go. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Rozier kicks to DJ. Nails. Yeah, we're right. we got two points. And we know that DJ, of course, getting his nickname from his work uh, behind the turntables, although... Greg, he's rededicated himself to basketball as he still does have a huge interest in creating his own music. Yeah, and as much as DJ loves... Oh, oh come on, guys. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And a lot of contact on that one, right. so he'll shoot two here. It's a post and Greg, going you hear there. about the competitive culture that this Miami Heat franchise has. Yeah, it doesn't always <clears throat> work for some teams, but it works for the Heat. This group will Let's push go. each Let's other Come on. all the time to be the best they can be. The practices ah, have a feel of game level my time in, intensity. Man. intensity. I'll tell you guys, there's a tenacity Easy to coach. this game know, that I you know. have to like. DJ never gets lazy out there. He always seems to go full speed. Good on the second. There we go. One for two. So got three points already. 
112 <clears throat> left to play here in the first. Dishes it to Ellington. There's the pick. Waiters passes to Johnson. Back to Waiters. Lock at six. Shoots over Wells. Kept alive. Here's Olinick. Uses the glass God. to pop it in. Olinick has got his early. first two points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Shot off the screen. Boston oh. again missing. Ooh, Miami yeah. leading Time. by nine. Time is terrible. Kicks it to Waiters. There's the basket. Oh, they get a double-digit lead. That block attempt. Waiters got talking 11. about. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Yeah, I think that's exactly how they built this lead. They played as one, shared the basketball, running their right. offense to perfection. <clears throat> and you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Well, you simply got to push through that, right? You need to at least contest the shot. Otherwise, he's going to knock it down. Johnson kicks to Waiters. No good on the three. And so it's the Miami Heat ahead by nine okay, as the quarter by comes nine. to a close. <clears throat> They're playing a bruising game. <sighs> and forward James Johnson battled his way back into the league after some stints of I play the game how it's supposed to be played I... that's exactly the kind of hard nosed old school attitude All right, second that quarter let's coaches. go get me in coach and so it's Miami Half time. in nope, the driver's seat in the up eight quarter. points at the end <sighs> thanks David and we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway All right, three points, uh, no rebounds, no assists, no steals. Coach says I was feed SD the ball and force an issue on the perimeter. The defense reaction from the team gets broke a slot. That's what I'm talking about. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. So we see Boston get the win here. This was oh my God! I never got back in the game, man. What are you talking about feeding me the ball on the perimeter? This win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, no, we came back and beat him. I guess I should be happy for that. So, man, oh man, that's rough. One good screen. One or two free throws. I got to work on my free throws. And I had a post hook. All right. <clears throat> That's why you pay for those tickets, baby. Big win, baby. Yeah. Man, I'm spent. I got nothing left. Yup, leave it all on the court. Forget about the blowout wins in those 30 point games. That game right there defines an entire season. Oxygen, the rookie needs oxygen. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> oh. All right, we're. Uh, let's see what he says here. He was all right. Eh. Uh, we got a phone call. Let's see what the, see what we got here. Brian says, uh, despite the fact that talks are still going on with Adidas, I started to discuss a deal with Under Armour as well. And <clears throat> I don't want I don't want a, a cash deal from them isn't yet on the table, but you can get some free shoes out of it. Free shoes are always good. What can I get? I'm not really that interested in Under Armour, but you know what? I'll take a pair of free shoes, another pair of high tops. Pick two. Oh. All right, we'll go with these low ones, too. All right. Nope, well, I'm going to leave it right there. I appreciate you watching. Uh... If you liked the video, leave a like. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And we'll catch you next time on A Noob Plays NBA 2K18. Thanks a lot. Bye.